All right, now to this Washington DC lawmakers are gearing up to make some big decisions that cost a lot of money. On this morning's viewpoint, Doug Petcash sat down with Idaho Congressman Russ Fulcher. Our Katia Stepovic joins us now in studio. Katia, cancer is not slowing down Fulcher, who has been voicing his concerns over some of these controversial bills. Well, that's absolutely right, Kim. They talked about everything from President Biden's $3.5 trillion Build Back Better bill to the current COVID crisis right here in Idaho. President Biden's recent vaccination mandate has a deadline that is nearing. By November 22nd, federal employees and companies with 100 or more workers must be fully vaccinated, something Congressman Russ Fulcher disagrees with. Well, it just seems to keep going. And uh, now with the with the mandates and with uh, the ramifications that's got on workforce, it impacts the economy and it's it's uh, filtering through our entire system. While Fulcher recognizes the COVID-19 crisis across the country, he believes that mandates should be dealt with on a local level and that everyone should have a choice as to what goes into their bodies. While Idaho continues to make national headlines from COVID, the gem state isn't far removed from a visit by President Biden. In mid-September, the president toured the National Interagency Fire Center to address climate concerns. He seemed to miss the point. Uh, the dialogue that I was privy to was simply uh, the, the type of resources that uh, the federal government would p potentially provide in terms of fighting those fires. It doesn't address the overall issue. It, this needs to be dealt with by management, wise management, good for everyone, instead of just simply saying, well, here's what we're going to do to try to put uh, resources in where you can fight them after they're already going. Fulcher also says wise management is missing in Congress. After the House and Senate passed a bill to temporarily raise the nation's debt ceiling by $480 billion. The position that the Republicans have taken on this is, OK, if the Democrats are going to ram this through, they're going to do it with this so-called reconciliation process. It's going to be entirely partisan. Then they can take the responsibility to raise the debt limit, too. We're not going to help him with that. He added that he also won't be supporting President Biden's $3.5 trillion Build Back Better bill. The so-called social infrastructure bill would raise spending on education, health care, and child care, to name a few. Congress is also looking at a $1.2 trillion bill to improve physical infrastructure on American roads, bridges, and airports. He plans to vote against that, too. We can't continue down this path. Uh, the, the notion that somehow the United States is immune from the ramifications of, of uh, uh, no borders on spending is, uh, is just simply incorrect. And, and we have to pay that at some point in time. Right now, you and I will likely not be alive when that gets paid off. It's going to be our kids, our grandkids. And uh, that's simply, that's simply not right. All right, now back to Fulcher's cancer battle. He says he's done with the first part of chemotherapy and hopes to be completely cancer free in just a couple months. And Kim, he does plan to run in 2022. And we're all wishing him a speedy recovery, that is for sure. All right, Katia, thank you for that.